Welcome back. Problem 6-88. This problem is taken from chapter number 6 that is pending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is if the beam has a square cross section of 9 inch on each side determine the absolute maximum bending stress in the beam. So you can see this is a cantilever beam that is and A is fixed and from A till a length of 8 feet 8 feet we have uniformly distributed load and at point B we have a point or concentrated load of 1200 pounds and the cross section is that this is a square cross section 9 inch by 9 inch so you have to determine the absolute maximum bending stress in the beam so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this fixed support at point A so you will be having a reaction force which is represented RA and you will be having a moment which will be MA. So we will find this RA and MA by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So you can see this is counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so I will write MA. The second moment will be due to this load which is 1200 and now perpendicular distance is 16 feet clear and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. So I will write minus 1200 into 16. The third load is due to this uniformly distributed load so we will convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load and that will act at the middle of this 8 feet. So this distance will be 4 feet and this remaining will be also 4 feet. Now this distributed load when converted into point load so it will be equal to 800 over the length entire length or which it act. So this will be equal to 6400 pounds. Now due to this load about point A the the perpendicular distance is 4 feet and it is also producing clockwise so it will be negative. So I will write minus 6400 multiplied by 4 is equal to 0. So from here you will get MA will be equal to this 1200 into 16 will give you 19200 plus this 6400 into 4 will give you 25006 so when you add them you will get moment about a comes out to be 448.00 pounds into feet so this will be the moment clear now we will find this ra by using equation of equilibrium the second one which is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see ra is upward minus this 6400 is downward minus 1200 is downward and their sum must be equal to zero so i will write ra minus 6400 minus 1200 is equal to zero so from here you will get this ra will be equal to 7600 pounds now you have ra and rma so what we are going to do is that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and from there we will take the maximum bending moment. So what we will do is that we will take vertical line from the end of this beam and similarly a vertical line from the other end of the beam. And then there is a horizontal line to show the length in feet. So x will be in feet. On y-axis, you will take the shear force that will be in pounds. Okay. Let one division is uh, 2,000. So 2,000. This is 4,000. This is 6,000. This will be 8,000. Okay. Now at point A, we have RA which is equal to 7,600. So what we will do is that we will plot 7,600. Let 7600 is this point okay now if you take a vertical line from this so this length will be 8 feet and this distance will be 
the other one will be also 8 feet clear okay now we want to find the uh, uh, the shear force at this point so you can see the shear the, this is the load which is 800 over the length which it act is 8 so it will it is 6400 so what we will do is that this is downward force so this force will be minus 64000 6400 so 7600 is there minus 6400 will cause it to 1200 plus 1200 so over here we will have plus 1200 so let plus 1200 is this point this is 1200 now you can see that this load is straight line clear is of zero degree so shear force will be one degree higher and it will be a straight linear line and slope will be decreasing because this load is downward now moving from this point till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal till end and at the end you can see you have minus 1200 so plus 1200 minus 1200 will bring it to zero so it will come down so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will take a horizontal line to show x in feet and on y axis we have moment having unit pounds into feet okay let one division you can see the moment is in 10000 so we will take one division is 10000 so downward is minus 10000 minus 20000 minus 30,000 similarly this will be minus 15 50,000 now at point a you can see you have a moment of ma which is 44,800 pound into feet so this is counterclockwise while drawing it on bending moment diagram this counterclockwise movement will cause it to toward downward so we will locate it as minus 44800 so let this point is minus 44800 pounds into feet now area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment so this area you can see this is trapezoid this length is 7600 and this height is 1200 so how we'll find this area let this area is a1 so a1 will be equal to this height which is 7 6 plus this height so i will write it 7600 plus 1200 divide by 2 into this breadth which is equal to this breadth which is equal to 8 feet this is how we find the area of trapezoid okay so when you solve this this area will be equal to 35200 now here the moment is minus 4480 minus 44800 plus this 35200 will cause it to change it to minus 9600 so at this length we will have minus 9600 so let this point is minus 9600 pounds into feet now you can see that this shear force is a one degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be the second degree curve and it will be in clockwise direction so i will join these two points by using this curve clear now the second area under the shear force diagram is this area let this area is a2 so you can see a2 is equal to this height this is rectangle so this height multiplied by this width so 1200 multiplied by 8 so 1200 multiplied by 8 will be equal to 9600 so minus 9600 plus 9600 will be equal to 0 so bending moment will be 0 at this point so our new point will be this one clear now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this is positive area so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a linear line and slope will be increasing so we will join these two point using straight line so this is your bending moment diagram for this beam now 
now from BMD bending moment diagram we can see that maximum absolute value of bending moment is equal to you can see one is this one the other one is this one and third one is zero so this is the maximum value so minus four four eight double zero and unit will be pounds into feet so this maximum bending moment absolute value will be equal to four four eight double zero pounds into feet now if you want to convert it into kips so 44.8 it will be kilo pounds which is equal to kips into feet okay now if you want to convert this feet into inch so what we will do is that 44.8 multiply by 12 and the unit will be equal to kips into inch because one inch is equal to one feet is equal to 12 inch so this is the maximum bending moment and we know that maximum bending absolute value of bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i since we have been given a square cross section of 9 by 9 this is 9 inch and this height is also 9 inch so we will find the moment of inertia for this beam and if we take the half of this this will be its neutral axis and a and for this i is equal to i for rectangular or square is 1 over 12 b h q so here b is 9 and h is also 9 so 9 power 3 that will give you i and when you calculate this this i will be equal to 546.75 inch power 4 what about c so c is distant from neutral axis till top or bottom so this are c which is equal to 9 divided by 2 so c is equal to 9 divided by 2 which is equal to 4.5 inch clear now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula maximum absolute value of bending stress is equal to movement which is equal to 44.8 multiplied by 12 unit is kips into inch divided by i which is having 546.75 inch power 4 and c is 4.5 inch so we will left with 4 we will get 4.42 kips which is kilo pound clear divided by inch square and that is maximum absolute value of bending stress and when you calculate it this is maximum absolute value of bending stress is 4.42 and kips per square inch will be equal to ksi which is kilo pound per square inch and that is the answer of our this question in which we have calculated the maximum absolute bending value bending stress for the beam and loading shown i hope you have enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching